What's up guys, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by and you choose to subscribe, thank you, I appreciate that. In this video we're going to talk about the three things that I dislike about my truck. First thing is going to be the body style. The body style, uh, obviously this is the extended cab or some people call it a super cab, long bed. Now when I was looking for a truck, I wanted a uh, the, uh, the crew cab short bed, pretty much what everybody has out there. Um, I live in southeast Michigan. I'm like right on the border with Ohio. And uh, it just seems like every four door crew cab I found, it was just beat to all crap. Or it was used as a work truck like they should be. And they were just either high mileage, you know, the bodies were just in awful condition, bunch of rust, interiors were shot. So it was really hard to find a truck that was in decent shape with, you know, decent miles. Now, this truck popped up, I actually found the ad on Craigslist. It was a local, a local um, seller. He was actually just uh, south here in Toledo, but I know I, it was, I knew it was a long bed and I'm with the extended cab and sorry for all the traffic, it's kind of loud, but um, I was like, you know, I'll just go check out the truck. It looks like it's in decent shape. Um, it's got some motor work done to it that I was looking for and I just fell in love with it. It had fairly low miles. The body was in good shape. I guess it not being a crew cab wasn't a deal breaker. I mean, it's just me and my girlfriend. I don't have any kids, so, you know, I didn't really think that would be a problem, but looking back on it, there's been many times where I have, you know, we're going out with another couple or anything like that where, you know, you can fit people in that back seat, but it, it's, it's not comfortable. And I knew I didn't want I knew I didn't want a four-door long bed just because those are like land yachts and trust me they have their uses but I just didn't need a truck that big so the body style is uh, definitely the first item that I really don't like about the truck number two is gonna be the body condition now if you follow me on Instagram You've seen some of the pictures. It's not in that bad of shape, but there are spots that are pretty rough on the truck. You can see the bottom of the doors are starting to rust out. And when I bought the truck, they weren't that bad. But again, living in Michigan, our roads are just terrible in the winter with salt and all that. So they're starting to go, and, and they're not that bad. It's, it's at a point where I could catch it and have the work done and fix it up. And over here on the fender flares, you can see it's focusing. It's starting to bubble, and then it's actually peeled in a, in a couple areas. And I could hit that with some touch-up paint. You know, actually somebody said a lot of guys will just put on like the Bushwhacker fender flares and cover that up, which I don't know if I'll do that or not. But and then actually on the front of the truck, this is this was like this when I bought it, but there's a little dent in the hood. It is what it is. Not that big of a deal, you can barely tell. Other than that, the body's in fairly good shape. There's a little dent in the bed here. You can barely see it, it's right here. Let's see if I can, you can kind of see it. You, I mean, you gotta be looking at it from a certain angle to even see it. The tailgate's in actually pretty good shape. You can just see on the bottom here where it's kind of bubbling and there's a little bit of rust, but it's not bad. And I know it's a truck. It's going to give scratches and dents and bumps and I'm fine with that. And the third reason I dislike the truck is that it's a six liter power stroke. And it's not that I don't like the motor. It's the fact that you just feel like you're walking on thin ice when you're driving it and i yes is it the truck is bulletproof it's studded deleted but still in the back of your mind when you're driving it you just because you've heard there's stories of 
guys getting these trucks bulletproofed and still blowing head gaskets again because they know they're running so hot, things like that. So, you know, buying this truck, you know going into it, there's a chance that you're gonna be putting a couple grand in the motor, you know, to make it a reliable truck. And even after having that done, you're still, it's still in the back of your mind, they could go. And I'm, I'm pretty good about driving it. I don't really beat on it too much and I'm not running a crazy tune. I mean, you'd really have to be running it super hot to blow those, those uh, gaskets again, but. So that's it, those are the three things that I really don't like about the truck. But overall, I love this truck. You know, I don't plan on getting rid of it anytime soon unless something really crazy happens in my life. But if those going back, those are the three things that I would make sure I'm looking for when I'm buying a truck. If you stuck to the end of the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.